Welcome to Beware of Spoilers. I'm Adam. All right, uh, let's see what we got uh, for Wednesday. Wednesday, we just saw Peppermint. Um, let's see. Um, I've seen a lot of action movies um, this year. Um, I've seen, uh, let's see, I think Deadpool counts as an action movie, Equalizer 2. Um, Oh, okay. That 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 looks that's better. Okay, uh, I'm 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 sorry. I'm I'm recording this in the parking lot after I saw the movie because I figure it's more fresh in my head when I do that, and uh, it's more uh, what's it called? Um, it, it, it's easier to do. And I just witnessed someone pull in diagonally across five spots, and I was confused. And it looks like he's pumping up his tire. So that's that's fine then. Um, that night after I recorded it in the local Walmart parking lot because you know. Bad things never happen in Walmart, uh, at Walmart at night. Um, so, here I am. Um, now, as I was saying, Deadpool 2, Equalizer 2, uh, Infinity War, Black Panther, Ant-Man and Wasp, all these action movies that came out this year. Um, hands down, this is my favorite action movie of the year. Um, if you've seen John, it's John Wick, um, without the, uh, the, the direction, that's the only thing that this movie doesn't have going for it in the same way that the John Wick did. John Wick had uh, massive set pieces and things like that. Uh, this movie doesn't have that, um, but it's still a very impressive movie. It's uh, basically the premise is uh, Jennifer Garner's character um, becomes the Punisher. Uh, her wife and her uh, her wow her uh, her husband and daughter get killed. Uh, in a drive-by shooting, that was for her husband. Her husband was uh, looking to get into some shady shenanigans. The drug lord he was conspiring against finds out, and he um, and he takes measures to prevent that because obviously you don't fuck with a drug lord. That's a bad idea. Um, so drive-by uh, daughter and uh, daughter and husband shot. She ends up shot too in the hospital. She gets out of the hospital. Um, to make matters worse, the, um, what's it called, the, uh, the DA's corrupt, the judge is corrupt, everyone's corrupt, and, uh, they, the people who did the shooting end up getting off because they, uh, everyone's corrupt and on the, on the take for, um, for the drug lord who did the killing, who ordered the killing. Um, so, she, uh, she escapes after, uh, um, after the grand jury, and, um, goes off on the run. Um, then five years pass, and she comes back to Los Angeles to take her revenge in a very John Wick Punisher sort of way. Um, now, I understand, now here's something that, anytime you have a movie like this, Death Wish, uh, John Wick, um, anything like that, you, the first act of the movie is gonna, always gonna be some inciting incident that's going to give you, the viewer, um, an out, a, a, a moral standpoint by which you can, um, get behind the protagonist's, um, very violent killing spree that ensues after, um, of killing numerous, numerous people. I didn't even attempt to count the number of people, she kills still a lot. So, she, um, so this one, it, they show that, they show the, uh, what leads up to it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good, fir- it's actually one of the stronger first acts, because it shows, she had a life beforehand, and it gives you a glimpse into her life and how she was trying to do right by her daughter, but things kept going off the rails, and no matter what she tries, other th- things are getting in the way. So I think things finally start going right, um, and then when they start going right, that's when everyone gets killed. Um, so it, 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 give, it gives you a moment of pause as to why she would snap. Um, now, what my biggest concern with this... Um, what this movie is, um, is I'm not a fan of the very opening of the movie. Um, the movie opens with, um, her fighting someone and getting injured and then going back to, um, what's it called? Going back to Skid Row in LA and she has a, um, what's it called? She has a box of cookies that basically triggers a flashback that tells you her origin and what caused her to, uh, go off the rails. And be so homicidal. Um, I think 
that the clip from the, the Perk episode of Rick and Morty is the best way to put it. Why start there and then go into a flashback? Just start with the flashback where the story begins. Because not, very rarely is something gained in this way. Like, Deadpool does it as well. Nothing isn't gained by starting in media res and then going on. Um, in media res is good for a sequel. If you like, like, uh, Infinity, uh, in, uh, not Infinity War, um, well, that works too. But I would say, uh, Age of Ultron, um, starts in media res. And, uh, because you don't really need any explanation as to why it's going on. Um, the, uh, what the, that's just, it, it kind of put you off on the wrong foot with that, because it just feels weird, um, and, um, what I really want to talk about with this movie is that this is how you start a franchise, it's the same as the what, what John Wick did, where the movie ends on a note where you can, you can pick up with another movie after, and it can, you can continue the story, um, this one feels like it'd be weird with a sequel. There would need to be something extenuating for a sequel to have to happen. Um, because the entire movie, one of the subplots is actually being painted by the media and on social media as a vigilante. But really, she's just trying to get revenge. I mean, yeah, she's a vigilante, but she's, um, that's not what she's out to do. She's not out for the betterment of humanity or out for anything like that. She's, uh, she's out there to get revenge for herself. Um, and, uh, by the end of the movie, the, uh, one of the police officers who we also follow as one of the subplots in the movie, um, gives her a key so she can escape custody. Um, out of the goodness of his heart. And the problem with this is, um, she escapes and subsequent movies have to find some way to tread back whatever she's doing back to a self-serving interest, I think. Because we haven't seen any, um, we haven't seen any, in this movie, there's nothing setting up that she has an altruistic streak, uh, streak in her. Um, she has no desire to go out and do anything for anyone but herself. Mm. Um... So, it's, it's, uh, what's it called? It's a little bit, uh, they, they, that's something they need to work on. They need to come up with some way to link it back, which they kind of set up in this movie by having a, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the, the head drug lord who, like, the cartel owner who's giving the drugs to the, 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 uh, the antagonist of this movie. And you just have her continue working up the chain. But she's not gonna be a, uh, what's it called? I, I don't foresee a future where she's going to be a vigilante like the Green Arrow or like Batman or someone like that is going to be out there and just taking down crime for the sake of taking down crime. Um, that said, they also show in the movie that she's in her area where she is in Skid Row. There is no crime because she's like a guardian angel to them. Um, so it's a, it's quite honestly, after I left the theater, I have only felt this way about one of the movies that came out this year and that would be uh, Infinity War, and it's, I absolutely cannot wait to watch this movie again, it was that good, uh, if you haven't seen this movie already, which, based on the box office, I think the majority of people haven't seen it, um, it's definitely worth seeing in theaters, um, you don't have to splurge for, like, an IMAX show or anything like that, it's fine, not even an IMAX, because of what else is coming out, um, I would definitely recommend you see this movie as soon as possible, and it's definitely gonna be, for me, a day one buy on DVD, it was really that good, um, and, uh, and one of the other things is, unlike other movies like this, where, uh, people just can, are basically just gods, and they, it's like playing Grand Theft Auto with, uh, immunity on, and there's nothing happens, she continually takes hits, and as she takes hits, she feel, uh, you can, her, her fighting changes, and what she does changes, and she gets to the point toward the end where she's basically incapacitated, um, but it's such a, uh, what's it called, um, I think her line at the end, I think it's her last speaking line in the movie, um, is, um, uh, it, uh, the, the cop that arrests her is like, uh, your story does um, the story doesn't end here, and she says, yeah, but mine does, I feel like that's where this should be, um, this should, this should be the end of her story, um, we don't need to go further from here, um, unless there's a, like, an actual good place to go. Like, don't just make another movie for the sake of making another movie. Um, 
let this story rest where it should. And it feels like this is a good place for it. And we can leave with her escaping. And that's her gift for what she's done for the city. Is that she gets to go and, you know, try and go off the grid again. Um, and that's the gift. is one last chance to escape. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Um, that said, we'll be done with that for today. Um, so if you haven't seen um, Peppermint, definitely go out and see it. A hundred percent of this movie is worth your time. Um, especially even in theaters, um, which hasn't been the case for a lot of movies this year that I've seen, but a hundred percent see this one. And, uh, so yeah, we will, uh, we'll wrap it up there. Uh, the next movie is on, uh, Friday's episode. I don't remember what I selected for that yet. Um, I don't remember. I don't think it's Halloween. No, Halloween doesn't come out this week. I don't know. I'll put out a tweet when I, uh, find out at AdamTaylor792. That's where you can, uh, find me. Um... Let's see, our next episode, this is Wednesday, so Thursday is our next, uh, our next podcast, 30 Minute Reviews, we're gonna discuss the Avatar The Last Airbender live action adaptation, we're gonna discuss the, uh, what's the other things that are going on, we got the Avatar The Last Airbender uh, live action adaptation, we got the Captain Marvel trailer, and we'll discuss, uh, let's go with, hmm, off the top of my head, um, I guess we'll watch the TV show on Netflix, we'll talk about that, uh, Atypical Season 2, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that. Um, so yeah, so with that, we'll be back on, uh, Friday with this next episode of Beware Spoilers.